All right, and let's get an audio check. And audio is good. All right, cool. So, uh, in our last mission, we found out that, uh, that they really are terrorists. Um, they're, they're, I mean, again, I, the writing's been on the wall the whole time. Uh, it's been quite apparent that they're terrorists. Um, but, it, you know, Thalia finally finds out in the last one when they nuke an entire city, uh, you know, it's, it's, the writing is no longer on the wall. It's right in your face. So now, uh, we come to the final mission of the Illuminate Campaign, Prime Time. You are in pursuit of Commander Gage, who is headed to Altair 2 and something called Shiva Prime. You need to stop Gage before more innocent civilians die. And that's the mission, folks. That is what we are doing. We are here to, uh... We're here to stop Gage. You know, we, we have realized that the, the Illuminate government is, uh, is flawed, but... The Guardians are not the right path, because they are actual terrorists. So we're going to see. We're going to see how we stop them. Small part of me hopes we actually get to kill them. But a uh, larger part of me knows that we probably won't. Maybe we'll see him in the next campaign. Maybe we'll be him in the next campaign. That would be fun. Picking up a lot of ACU chatter on open channels. It sounds like you're entering a war zone. Incoming commander, identify yourself. You need to leave this I area immediately. We have a little situation here. Dom, <laughs> Hi, Dom. Thalia Kale. Who invited you to this party? An Illuminate terrorist group wants control of whatever's on the other side of this gate. Everyone wants this thing, but no one seems to know why. Kale is a traitor. She can't be trusted. You need to stand down immediately. No, we all need to calm down. We're ready to fight each other over this gate, but we should be protecting it as allies. Strategic launch detected. Oh boy. More nukes. Where has Gage entered the party? I think Gage has entered the party. <laughs> this is an act of war. The Cyber Nation will not stand for this sort of unprovoked assault. Get ready for hey. battle. Maddox is currently boxed in. We have the UEF to our southeast and Cybern's northwest. We're going to have to go through each of these commanders. I can hold these guys off. The UEF commander southeast of our position is the nearest target, so we should start with him. Don, can you handle the Cybern and the Illuminate? I can hold them off for a while. New research options are available. We're gonna come out here and start up my mass glitch. This is the end of the stream. Nope, we're still streaming. We get our uh, burgeoning economy online. Oof. Yeah, I'll send those two over. Uh, start by dumping all that in there so that they're a little cheaper. Let's get the economy up and running. The UEF commander has constructed an experimental air factory. Get ready for something big and nasty in the air. Yep.
probably AC 1000s, maybe the, um, oh, what are they called? The flying, uh, I want to say Agamemnon, but that doesn't feel right. The flying, uh, Atlantis. <laughs> the flying aircraft carrier. Alright, second mass glitch online. Uh, that's going to go a long way towards helping our economy, but I do need uh, some more. Right. Cool. Well, let's get some anti-air on if he's going to be doing that. And then uh, pretty soon we'll start the trickle. And uh, we'll go from there. Little little base, not too bad. I see he's got a nuke defense silo. Do I have nuke defenses unlocked? I do have nuke defense silos unlocked. And the loyalty gun, holla. All right. Well, let's again get these guys over here. Start building up my uh, my stuff, my economy. All right, three mass glitches should be fine. Um, Let's get all the upgrades going. Hit repeat build. Uh, and then I'll probably wait until we've got all three of these set up. To actually start. Yeah, see he just sent his first wasp. So we do have to move with some speed. Um, come on. So, and then after that, I need a little bit of a research economy going, so. It's the cleanest way that I can build it, probably like that. Yeah, like that. Good to see Dominic is still fine. Too bad Commander Kane couldn't get on our side here. Um, yeah, there we go. And we can really start pumping them out, huh? Alright, so I got two more upgrades and then I'll start pumping everything. put these here. So now you build my main tanks, my missile launchers, my anti -air. All right. Go, Titans of Industry! <laughs> that's, that's one of the media campaign missions. You're gonna need um, some yeah. serious technology upgrades to handle these guys. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm getting my fucking tech economy down. Now that I have my mass and energy, good. Well, thankfully they're just sending wasps for right now. So that's actually not any kind of a problem. Yeah, see that land gantry is going to be a problem. Just like old times, eh, Thalia? I don't recall this much shooting in the past. You know what? I think I want to steal that air gantry. I think I want to steal the air gantry and an engineer. Oh, but I don't think I can build the air gantry. Well, if I get an engineer, I can just, you know, rush up to, like, AC-1000 terrors. I love the AC-1000 terror. It is, I think, the best. 
Um, we probably need to go the firepower route rather than. Oh, well, you know what? Let's let's get Herzogs into the mix. All right, here we go. <laughs> First little battle cluster. Actually, it looks like the second, maybe even third. Yeah. Yeah, it's about as far as they get. Minimal damage done, but I mean, it's still early days here. We have so much time. Alright, and then again, all four of you are going there. Uh, and that'll get the Herzogs going too. Veterans you gain. I'm detecting AC 1000s in um, the air. Yeah. I figured as much. Oh, the same to I mean. I'd like to think that we'll shred an AC-1000 no problem, but I'm not so confident in that. Uh, let's go the, the defense route. Let's get better shields up first. And then we can worry about... Uh... Sorry, was I not clear on where I want my Herz uh, Harzogs to go? Harvogs? Go, Harvogs, go. Get in there. Yeah, repeat build. Come on. Where's he going, huh? Alright, yeah, he's going to the right place. There was a couple that I just stopped for some random reason. He's here from my head. I know the feeling. Alright, who we got? Who is he? What's his name? They're not gonna tell us he doesn't have a name. He's silent, mysterious. Oh, that's the AC-1000 circling. I know those missiles. Oof. This is gonna hurt. Nice. Shields and the double. Yeah, look at that. Shred that 1000. Shred it. The AC nice. The is on the ground in pieces. Good shooting, sister. It's fine. Yeah. We got the slip tax now, so uh, those bombers are going to be less effective. Um, I guess we'll do bada booms next. Nah, maybe the damage upgrades. Vision, vision is good. See him sooner. I don't like all of these troops that are patrolling. Is moving its army yep. See. To an attack position. Be prepared. I saw it right as he said it. Well, believe me, I'm prepared. I am ready. Damage buff. Structures. Maybe I got some TAC missile launchers. That might be what I do. I might do a row of TAC missile launchers and then a row of uh, point defense. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't like how close they're getting. Perfect little spot to put some radar. Get a little bit more sensor range. And tactical missiles are next. Yeah, they're getting closer. 
Honestly, I'm not even going to build the tactical missile yet. Right, it's a 2x2, two two, so... Yeah, you know what? How many of these can I build before I bankrupt myself? That many. Alright, cool. Spend it. I don't care. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, attack missile launchers are hitting the UEF too, not aggroing the uh the cybern yet. That's good. Now where's my shields? Shields are up here. Yeah, I think shields are an important next step. Um We'll see. For now, my ground troops are pushing up and my tactical missiles are assisting. That's what matters. Now, did I grab those other... I did not. Well, again, let's just bump health and damage. Well, I do want to get, like, the slip tack. Bada boom. I know that we're not really putting a whole lot of attack missiles to, to hit them, uh, and that is what will help, because you see the attack missiles are what's destroying these turrets, but that's because I want my point defense up first, so that if these guys get dodgy and they decide to attack, I want to be able to defend. The Cybern is trying to set up shop right on my yep. doorstep, and I have my hands full with this Illuminate. I need some assistance ASAP. I'm on it. Oh, Illuminate gunships. That's cool. I'm gonna need a row of anti-air over here too. I'm not concerned about that AC-1000. As it drifts closer, it's gonna, yep, it's gonna get into the anti-air range. Look at them tracking already. Yeah, lucked out. I'm not concerned at all. All right, bada booms up. Now I see their artillery is hitting uh, some of my point defenses. Why I need shields up. Uh, what am I producing? Yenzus. They're doing the fish douche. They're doing the Kratos. They're doing the Harzogs. They're doing nothing. Come on, little Engie. The little engineer that could. All right. Well, yep. Keep it all repaired. They're really asking for it, huh? Yep, alright, now my tactical missiles have opened up. That's what you fuckers get. 
Don't worry, you're next. Real quick, repair that. And then, uh, there we go. Shields up! Yeah, but some get through. Sorry. It's too bad we don't have, like, uh, anti missile defense. Oh, yeah, we're gonna need antimatter shields on my turrets. That'll be nice. Right, because this is doing slip tax, yeah. Alright, and then the whole six of them are all going to be going in right here. I need more time to prepare oh. for a multi -front battle. Let them get close. No, I don't. Dude, I'm prepared. <laughs> I'm good. This is nothing. Alright, so my ACU got a little damage. That's fine. Got a shield generator there. What's this you doing? Now, come on down here. Build us an energy station. We got some shields online, some redundant shielding. Yeah, one missile got through and it's hitting the shields on the turret. I'm not concerned. Yep, anti-air is shredding that first line. We're golden. Everything's got shields here, so... Uh, they are hitting my, my shield generator, though. So, that's not cool. Really nothing I can do about it aside from pumping out more anti-air. Um... Research income is cool. Yeah, that's really it. Uh, the rest is just gonna have to be reliant on my uh, my troops, which, um, yeah, it is what it is. Now, this slot's empty. They just don't have a troop for it. Which upsets me. They should have had another troop. Poland smash mobile unit magnet. All right, that's sounds interesting. You know what I need? I need my anti-air up, so I need to wait, save up for the air nomo, not because I care for that, but because the next one is, uh, anti-air. Sonic Pulse Battery. Yeah. Alright, we're getting there. We're slowly destroying their base. Once you get anti-air on, every, on everything, it will be so good. I have an experimental gantry I can put up. Ah, uh, you know, why not? Why not toss an experimental gantry in here? Put more shield jennies up. And boom. Say goodbye to all of their air power. Like all of my crown units now have anti-air. Or most of, like my slip packs and Yenzu don't. Actually. 
Yeah, the bada boom don't either. So, Yenzu slip tack bada boom, but put half. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Cybern, you're next. Cool. Yeah, damage buff next. Yeah, they got their own little versions of the slip tack. Alright, everyone. Go fuck him up. Ruin his day. Where's my little engineering buddy? There you go. The Cybern has deployed a megalith and it's heading to your position. There That's is fine. no it's not gonna get there. Gauge in the Cybern military. Look, I uh -huh. with him. Our records are quite thorough. No, they're not. Nice. Well, that's actually quite a few megaliths. I think those two are just guarding, though, and this one is the one that's attacking. But, it's fine. I got a shit ton of ground troops going over there. So... I'm not concerned. They pop him? Did they destroy my engineer friend? Or did he get sidetracked? Where is he? It should be like a little E, right? Uh, I think they destroyed. Oh no, there he is. What are you doing, little guy? Salvaging. Alright, come on. Come salvage over here. Don't worry, there's a lot of good loot here. Your alive. Your choice. A cyber never backs down. Uh, then you're going to die, dude. Uh, any time that my turrets would like to open up, that'd be great. Come on, guys. Today. One megalith down. There we go. Yeah, no, that's fine. It didn't even get close to my shields. Curious that they call that long range, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you guys are screwed. There's no getting out of this one. I haven't even started building my fucking air power yet. not happy with that though. 
Not enough. That's not going to be enough either. Does that cover my engineers? Nope. Also doesn't cover this edge. So we'll do that. And everything's covered except the edges of these guys aren't. But that's fine. Yeah. Your megaliths are not scary. Just the slimmest edge of that stack covered, uh, and these guys obviously, so we'll get them all safe. Uh, and then we'll start focusing on our air power. So. Universal Colossus. Boom. We're going to start sending in Universal Colossi. Oh, I do not have the economy to support that on repeat. His ACU is actually mostly unharmed. It's funny. Because uh, he's gonna die now. Jeez, alright, well. Now they're just being obnoxious. Nah, no, honestly, I don't care. Yeah, untouched. Sit inside his shield, probably getting healed by an engineer. That's alright. We know how to deal with the likes of you. Copious amounts of firepower. That's how. Uh, yeah, I definitely get the Hihola on my next. And hero shift. Go. Yep. It's our first Universal Colossus. Let's see how far into our base it gets. Yeah.
Personal shielding. You know, that Eola is going to be such a tank. Adds flares, redirecting enemy anti-air. Yeah, that's... They're just never going to kill my Eolas. High health, shield, and a flare dump ability. You know? I mean, like, gosh darn. I mean, this is not even getting close to our, our turrets, and it's dying. Dom, it's true. Oh? I am a traitor. I've done things I'm not proud of. I... We'll deal with that later. I love Dominic. He's just like, I, you know what? I don't even care right now. Like, we'll worry about your personal baggage later, sweetheart. We're in the middle of fighting for our lives here. I'll see. Sure, why not transport capacity and training? He's surprisingly resistant. I mean, we still have some stuff to upgrade our air with. But I might have to send a... Uh, And damage. I mean, as we get more and more in there, we're gonna we're gonna start dealing even more damage. It's these shields, honestly. Edward's doing it. Six, seven, and a darkenoid. Alright buddy, start building energy generators, because I'm going to need them, with my tactic. So, this is building my urchin house. This is building my universal colossi. That's my wolfinges. That's my aeronomos. That's my Poland smashes. Yeah, and then I'm actually going to need to uh, build another one of them. Alright. I mean, we'll get there, because once I unlock this Darkanoid, um, maybe I'll send a Darkanoid over there, and that'll be what I do. But for now... Training level 5. So that'll be 50% total, more health and damage. I might not need the Dark Knight at this rate. I mean, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. We're popping engineers as we're walking in. They're going out to try and reclaim stuff, which, uh, you know, overextends them. And then they have to build a new one, which means it's one less troop. I think 
we have this situation well in hand. My only concern is that we do not have nuclear defense silos. And when Gage comes in, because I know he's here, because he just nuked them. Uh, damn. What's that health bar? Oh, that was my Hihola's health bar. Unfortunate. I mean, just look at the sheer number of these guys coming in here, you know? If we could destroy some of those those megaliths, which again, a dark mode would help with, I'd be way more confident uh, in how we take this guy out. Because they're dealing s You will pay for your crimes. I know. Hey, at least she's a realist. Damn. That guy's tanky. of energy here. <laughs> oh my, alright. So I turned off my uh, mask glitch. By accident. So we're going to need to uh, get those running again. What would Princess Burke say about your actions, Thalia Kale? She'd probably uh, understand that you know when you're when you're fighting in a war, uh, assholes use you. All right, and mass glitch is back online. Sustainable mass economy. Cool. Now, where were we? Oh yeah, Darkanoid. Now that's what I'm talking about. The Darkanoid experimental will take out a base in no time flat. Good. We're gonna need it. Did I not build that? I did not. Well, well, there's that. Like that, huh? All right, little buddy. a disgusting amount of energy uh, but that's what's required here so is that a nuke missile silo yes 
Good. Oh, yeah, my mass is not doing healthy here, huh? Mass income! Go! Yeah, that's because I was down my, my mass glitches and I didn't realize it until it was too late. You know what? I'm gonna slightly shift their uh, their meetup point. All of them are going to move to here instead. That little shift, I think, is going to be enough to hit these uh, these two. And, you know, tip the, uh, the balance in our favor. Alright, so, uh, she's actually busy. So I can safely build these mass extractors because she's not going to notice that I've built them. Uh, and once I've taken him out, I can then, uh, you know, space temple. Yeah. Right, buddy, we've got plenty of energy. Why don't you go reclaim that? You're a little dangerous putting them that close up. I'm alright with it. Like I said, we are, uh... Alright, and that's the last of the stream that was going over there, so why don't I just have them redirect instead? Come on, guys. Turn. Nah. Get popped. That's fine. Um, do they have defense out? They do have defense silos in the back. I was say, I might just nuke them, but then that kind of is counterintithesis. I don't give a damn about my experimental units. They're just over here. Oh, wow. Killing her. Cool. Alright, guys. Go for her main base. All of my experimentals. I don't, like... You guys, just like, come up here and finish this dude off. It's kind of sad at this point. The Guardians say that the experimental loyalty gun will quickly capture and convert enemy units. Uh, it is actually very convenient. So I'm gonna build one. They don't. Oh, well. I don't know. I don't think that, uh... I don't, I don't remember this campaign, like I said, so I didn't know if I needed the nuke silos or not. But, you know. I've got three nukes in there. Or, anti-nukes. Build one. Why not? Uh, yeah. I mean, the Darkanoids are expensive. That's the only reason I don't have them pumping out. I can actually pause production on, uh, you know, like my airships or something. I hope you find inner peace oh. you came. Boom! Eject. 
Nice. All right, well. <laughs> My experimentals had no problem kicking her teeth in. Okay, go kill whatever this is, guys. Oh, it's an urchin now. Yeah, kill it. Bye bye. All right. Let's go kill the rest of her base. Unit cap reached. Increase mass income by 400%. Yeah. Yeah, we can uh, set them to move up here now. Now that my Universal Colossus is coming in to kick these, uh, these guys' teeth in. Actually, yeah, let them move closer. Basically, is about to go boom. Can I actually get the Colossus out of there in time? I doubt it. Nope. Forgive me, Dr. Bracken. The Cyber Commander has fallen. Nice. Nice. Pop goes the weasel. And in comes the Hihola. That's outstanding. It's 500 on the PC? Alright, cool. Those well. Commander's out of the way. The gate is clear. For now. If this thing is so important, right. you'd think it'd be better protected. Unit cap reached. It was hidden by a stealth field generator. It's not very stealthy right now. I may have destroyed its power source. Wonderful. Strategic launch detected. See, Hunter, there's the nukes Hunter. I was worried about. If the radiance of a thousand suns were to burst forth at once into the sky, that would be like the splendor of the mighty one. For I have become death. The shatterer of worlds, and have come to annihilate everyone. Commander right, Maddox and Kale, I bid you good day. I mean, I think he's my favorite like in, the, in the whole story. We have to follow him. And leave the gate unprotected? Jaren, you still with me? Jaren. Jaren. Thalia, oh, yeah. the Guardians will be here soon. Forget Gage for now. We need to stop them. Alright. I mean, that's the final... Um, it doesn't feel like the final mission, but that's it. That's that's the last mission for the uh, Illuminate campaign. Uh, so, Thalia's uh, redemption arc is complete. Um, yeah, let's see. Theory F. Uh, and Illuminate done. So, um... You know, her, her redemption story is complete now. Uh, she nukes them. Uh, or, well, Gage nukes them, and she realizes that that makes him the bad guy. Uh, you know. Yeah, the tactic of nuking them to, to incite them against us to kill each other off and then just dropping into the gate is a good one. Um, you know, dropping a nuke so that they hunker and can't stop you. It's a good tactic. Uh, I like William Gage as a character. I mean, clearly he's eccentric and psychotic and, and all that. But um, I think it's definitely uh, a cool character concept, uh, at the very least. Um, but so that's where we're going to end it for today. Um, for the stream, uh, I'm going to take like a maybe 30-minute break, um, grab something to eat, and then I'll probably continue with the Cybern campaign. Um because I'm really into this. I'm just going to play through the whole thing. For those of you watching this on uh, YouTube, um, next week will be the uh, the Cybern campaign start, and uh, we'll, we'll see how that story ties in. You know, uh, we had Maddox go and uh, open the gate, or, you know, drop the cloaking field around it, and then we had Thalia introduced, and uh, they know each other, and she comes in uh, and assists him in defending it. Uh, so we'll see... 
who the Cybern commander is. Um, I'm sure it won't be Gage. Gage is clearly the, the bad guy throughout. Um, but I assume, and again, it's been so long since I've played, I, I can't remember the Cybern campaign. I'm going to assume that Gage uh, has gone to whatever this is, and our Cybern commander will know about it and meet them there, and then uh, go in and defeat him. That's what I'm going to go with, at least. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one uh, on YouTube. Make sure that you like, comment, uh, tell me what you think of my strategy. Um, you know, I, I built anti-nukes even though I didn't need them on the safe side. Um, but you know, let, let me know what you think, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.